Oh no. You go first. Can you give me a sign if you're here? It does sound like movement on the wood. See how it says low battery? Should not be empty. Someone in here with me now. Oh, creepy. So many freaking noises down here. <gasps> Maybe, I'm not sure. <gasps> Shit. Did you hear that? I just thought I saw a figure down here. Hey Crypt Keepers, thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight, Jared and I are investigating the Albany Convict Jail. What the heck? Let's try that again. So tonight, Jared and I are investigating the Albany Convict Jail. This place dates back to the 1850s allegedly very haunted as we have already found tonight. If you haven't done so already, go and watch my part one episode where we investigated the women's section. We had so much activity in that episode, so definitely check it out. But tonight we are investigating the men's wing, which is supposed to be the most active and haunted area. So get ready. The Albany Convict Jail is rumoured to be one of the most haunted places in Western Australia. It dates back to 1852 and contains much dark history that is said to have been the cause of the paranormal occurrences reported to this day. Many have claimed to hear strange noises such as footsteps, voices and chains clanking in the old jail. They've seen ghostly apparitions and even been overcome with strange sensations. Already we have investigated the women's cells and picked up on some interesting activity which you can watch in my part 1 video. But now, we move our investigation to focus more heavily on the male prisoner cells, which is known to be one of the more active areas of this old jail. Okay guys, so kicking off the investigation, I'm going to call out. I do have a couple of trigger objects. So I have keys, keys for the jail, some cuffs, and um, myself. I don't want to get in trouble here but i have heard that people that visit this jail who sound british english ha have an accent tend to get more activity and more out of this place so i was thinking jared and i can put on our best british accents and i'm gonna own it because all of my family a lot of my descendants are from the uk so i'm not very good at accents though so i'm just gonna throw that out there don't be offended, I'm not trying to take the mickey, I'm trying to do my best British accent and I'm gonna do it for the spirits tonight because I want them to respond favorably to me. <laughs> oh your God. British relatives are gonna be shaking their heads. They're gonna be shaking their heads. Or face palming, one or the other. Okay, so this is my best British accent. A lot of people think that I already sound British in my comments anyway. <laughs> is this really cringy? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Leave a comment and tell me what area from some place I sound like I'm from. Hello, my name is Amy and I'm here tonight with Jared and we call out to the spirits here at, of Albany Convict Jail and we would love for you to come forward and give us a sign that you're here. <laughs> If you touch these keys, you're free to go. If you can make these keys move or make a noise, we'll let you out of the jail tonight. Uh, that's down there, I think. You're gonna to have to do a bit better, a bit better than that. I'm talking like a loud noise like this. Car, just tagging that. Tag. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that thing I always say in British accent? Betty. Eh? No, the other thing. Lovely. This bed looks lovely. Lovely. 
So in all honesty, guys, we were talking to the CEO of the Albany Historical Society, which shout out to those guys letting us into this place to investigate. They're amazing. But he was saying that, you know, people coming in from England, you know, they'll come in and I'm guessing the way that the spirits know their English is the accent they tend to get more spirit activity. And there was one story that he told us of a, a woman uh, who came through. She came through with her husband and her husband was able to walk down and explore this cell block, but she was not. And the reason being was she allegedly said, the spirits don't want me to go down there. They've told me, no, you can't come any further. So she had to literally go and wait in the reception area. She wasn't allowed to walk down the cell block and explore. That is the reason for the accent. I don't think I'm gonna fool the spirits though because I sound shit, don't I? Yeah, you don't sound English at all. <laughs> what do I sound like then? I don't even, I'm terrible with all accents. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's mannequins in there. Oh, yeah, that's scary. All right, anyone misbehaving tonight, I'm gonna put these suckers on you. Right, I'm gonna leave these here. If you can move these tonight and make a noise for me, that lets me know that you're here. Right, I'm gonna freak out and lose my mind if I hear that or the keys jingle tonight, right? All right, Jared, time to go in the black hole. Oh no. You go first. <laughs> the black hole is the prison's solitary confinement cell. It is known for being an area where many have reported strange incidents. These are thought to be linked to a story of overcrowding where at least 20 drunken men were crammed into the space for more than 24 hours, resulting in both suffocation and death. We're currently in the black hole and I'll tell you what, it is freaking dark in here. We do have Ghost Tube SLS monitoring the hallway. I've put a cat ball and a REM pod out there, just cause we've been hearing noises and lots of weird stuff's been going on tonight. So I wanna keep that area monitored whilst we're in here. I don't know how much we'll hear in here. There's no window. There's um, it's just There's a dark nothing. space. So any noises that we were hearing outside now, I don't know, get in here, but SLS should pick it up. So, should we do Vox? I reckon we do Vox. Yes. Oh. This cell really gives me the creeps. Like this, there's something about this cell which is so dark and isolated and no windows in it. Just, I don't know. Is it because you know that there was a death in here as well? because it was overcrowded and it is a solitary cell. You know, sometimes things can play those mind games, you know? All right, so my name is Amy and I'm here tonight with Jared and we reach out to the spirits of the black hole. We would love for you to come towards the lights on the floor in front of us. If you can make a noise, say your name. We just want to communicate and know that there's somebody here. Can you tell us your name? Can you tell us why you're here? What happened in this cell? How many people were in this cell? Or how many people are in this cell? Do you know that? Are in this cell. How does being in here make you feel? I can hear voices out there. It does sound like movement on the wood. Yeah. <laughs> 
11. Is there 11 people here? Or are you referring to cell 11? Were you in here for murder? Is that your crime? Did you do it? That was your crime? Why have you stayed here at the jail? You know you can leave. The keys to the cell are just outside down the hall. If you grab them, you can leave. We'll make them jingle and you might be able to let us know that you're here. Where are you from? Why do people get strange feelings back here at the back of the cell? I heard masturbate. I heard that too. Is that what you did in this room? Filthy? Is that how you pass the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Footsteps, right? What is the noise going on out there? Is that you out there? So funny. <laughs> what is so funny? Something else. <laughs> I just said cut me out. What's so funny? <laughs> What's going on? I don't want to say it yet, because then I'll just start laughing again. <laughs> I can't tell, has something funny actually happened, or are you <laughs> getting possessed or something, or what's going on? I'm hearing those noises. What's so funny about it? I had a laughing fit. Which I sometimes have. Because I was thinking about that response that we got. Masturbate. <laughs> I started thinking that the sounds that we were hearing <laughs> were someone. <laughs> okay, we get it. <laughs> we are hearing, okay, jokes aside now though. 
we are hearing a lot of noises out in the hallway. It's hard to tell where they're coming from though because this cell has no windows. To me, I feel like it's the, um, the, the courtyard earlier where in part one we also heard noises. But because this room has no windows, all the noises sound like they're coming from out there, so... What do you think? Some of the noises are in here. Not in this room, in... Inside. Some, I think, are outside. As in... It's still the prison, but... Like, outside, like the courtyard, yeah. <laughs> I'm still rolling here, by the way. Oh. I heard like knocking on that, like, almost like there was weight shifting on the floor outside the door. Shit. Damn it, that scared the crap out of me. Same as these. Well, I can't see anyone out there. Is there somebody out there? Did you just knock on this door? Hello? Whoa, 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 cold, cold, cold. You're getting cold spot? Cold. Where? SLS isn't picking up anything on you. Okay, good. No, by the way guys, those flashing dots on Amy on this camera uh, is the infrared light grid that Ghost Tube SLS is projecting to detect depth. So many freaking noises down here. Can you go towards the red light? I don't want to hear you tapping. I want to see you go towards the red light here. I just thought I saw a figure down here, standing in this hallway. So Jared just told me... Ooh. Ooh. Did you hear that? Yeah. Walk towards it. standing in that room. It might just be mapping whatever that thing is though. So you, what did you see down right, here, Joe? I'm going to say that that's, that's a, a false, false positive. A false positive because it's consistently mapping the barrel. So one of the tips we always tell our users is if you do see a figure, see if you can replicate it. And in this case, we okay. really can replicate it. There is so a that, mannequin in this room. So yeah. that's fine. And there was a noise just here. See if you can replicate it and in this case, see if you can replicate it and in this case, see if you can replicate it and in this case. So what I saw guys was a figure standing right in this doorway in the corner of my eye 
we didn't have any lights in at the time, so I was in the dark. But there's windows in that room letting a little bit of light in, so you can see still. Weird. Is there someone here? Can you make a noise for us? It's not picking up anyone, but I just made that for some reason. Okay, allegedly this room was part of the original convict hiring depot. I'm getting noises where we've got the SLS camera pointing that we haven't hit record yet. What'd you hear? Just more noises like we've been hearing. Obviously that noise That's is a, a car. Truck. Yeah, but Honestly. it's more like stuff moving around or tapping. All right, Jared, which cell? Um, I'm thinking... Ooh, this is a death mask in here. Oh, is it? Oh, creepy. Frederick Bailey deeming uh, he was a suspect for being Jack the Ripper. Oh, really? Well, yeah, look behind you. Talking right. about the Whitechapel murders. Um, famous in London, obviously. Um, he did come over from the UK and he had committed crimes over there that included killing his family, wife and children, um, and was executed in Melbourne for that crime. In that case, then I say this one. Okay. So, you okay with that? Yeah, well, you're the one staying in here. I thought I was picking for you. No. Alright, I think I'm rolling. Here you go. Is this trigger object? Mm-hmm. Okay. You're not actually locking me in, are you? See ya. <laughs> Just me and the death mask. Got a couple of cat balls and one on the floor, one on the death mask, and I've got the ramp on the death mask. I'm also wearing a pair of handcuffs as a true object. I guess you figure the spirits might be able to relate more to me if I'm locked up. I had to pick the one with the death mask. That is where Jared is, so that's the men's cell block there. I'm just gonna walk around and see if we get any responses through on Ghost Tube. So if there is anybody still here and you want to talk, feel free to step forward and let me know that you're around. Someone in here with me now. Working out how those motion sensors work. There's also one up there as well. If you move that one, it will do the same thing. All right, guys, I've hit record on a ghost soup session. Just put that on the floor next to me. So if there is someone here, you go up to that device next to me on the floor, you might be able to trigger it and let me know that you're here. Lost. You're lost or I'm lost? I was just trying to figure out where I was, where I am. Can I help you find your way? That's funny. Can I help you find your way this way? So we just got the response lost free. <laughs> Sometimes I get this with ghost tube where I'm thinking of something and then I'll get a response free and it is in line with what I'm thinking. And I was just like, where am I? Which way do I go? <laughs> like, not that I'm particularly lost, but I'm just, yeah, trying to figure out where I'm going, what I'm doing, and it says lost. It could also mean that someone here is lost and they don't know what's up, where to go. I don't know, and then I see this, when I'm like, which way? I'll tell you where to go, and it says this way. I mean, it could all just be like coincidental, but sometimes I'll get things like that, and it's just like, it's just funny, you know. So I'm gonna head this way. Maybe we can start with a name.
Is that you out there making that noise? Is there anyone in this room? This is the wardress's room. Originally for the daughters of Warder John McGovern. And then it was later a storeroom. Again guys, there's the tower. We've got quite a full moon tonight as well. No, what is that noise? It is windy, so. Full moon tonight as well. Full moon tonight as well. We've also got an SLS camera out there monitoring the area where I thought I saw that thing in the corner of my eyes before. Can you make that light light up again? Is that your face? Is that your death mask? If it is, can you go up and touch it? Pain. <laughs> 41. 41. What does that mean? So we are actually just going through into the women's area now. This might actually be my favourite part of the jail. If you've watched part one, you'll know we received the ghost tube response of mother in that very end cell, number 25. And that is so relevant because there is said to be a woman who lost a baby in there who now haunts the cell looking for a baby and uh, there's stories of um, a baby crying. Are you feeling pain? I just got really, really cold all of a sudden. Really cold. Are you here with me now? What number cell is this? What was your crime? Quite scary, this little, I don't know, creature. <laughs> Can you tell me were we talking to somebody earlier in this area? Do you remember me? Can you give me a sign if you're here? I did just hear a noise come from out here. Is the mother still here? Just gonna check. A noise. Are you innocent or guilty? Did you do it? That means you did do it, or you didn't. Let's say that one in the corner is you did it, and the one on the death mask is you didn't do it. Can you go up to either one of those and let me know whether you did it or you didn't do it? Are you guilty?
Nurse. So I got pain in nurse. Are you? How did you hurt yourself? Crap. Mm. I just dropped my phone. It looks all right. Is the mother still here? I'm sorry that you lost your baby. Getting the response mother through still kind of chills me. I want to see, this is a very sad story if there is um, truth to it, you know guys. Someone's spending their afterlife pining their lost baby. The baby could be here itself crying, you know, that's what people report when they enter this cell. I don't know if we'll get EVPs of that. Part of me hopes not. As much as I want evidence, you know, I just... It's very tragic to think about and it's not a nice story really, is it? Tired. Are you feeling sleepy? I am actually, it's quite late. Is that how you feel or are you reading how I'm feeling? Gold. I'm going to leave this door open for you, mother. You can come and go as you please now. We also had, um, Quite a bit of REM pod activity in this room in part one. It was going off so much on the table. And this was the female day room. So prisoners did spend a lot of time in here. They do sewing, washing, ironing. Um, and yeah, this stove was introduced in 1920 apparently. Are you the one that doesn't like British accents? Would you prefer me to talk like this? My apologies to Amy's relatives in England. I'm horrible at accents as well. Why don't you like the English? Why don't you like the English coming through here? Guys, I am gonna go in here. This is the hall. So, I don't know of any actual paranormal events that happen in here. There are a lot of historical photographs though. And I love the back of this room because it's set up with um, old furniture here. actually quite cool. Did you come from England? Where did you come from? Do you like my British accent? I like that door if you want me to stop. So I'm just gonna uh, take a breather. Tonight has been very interesting, this place is very cool and we're very lucky to be able to get in here to investigate. I think what we have captured tonight already has been very, very interesting. <sighs> We're hearing noises in here too, oh my gosh.
Now guys, um, we did have a SLS set up. I left a cat with that SLS. And reason being is there's actually a story here about a ghost cat, a black cat. And the young girl and her mum walked into the first couple of rooms and this young girl said, Mum, look out, don't tread on the cat. Uh, one of the warders had a cat that um, obviously lived here with him. This young girl seen the spirit of the cat and uh, the mother didn't. And I would love to see a ghost kitty. I love cats, especially black cats. So yeah, hopefully we map uh, that or we get some cat ball action. All the ghost cats actually likes cat ball. It's a perfect uh, paranormal tool for a ghost cat. <laughs> Do you want to put these on, these shackles? These are for you. Do you want to wear them? All right, moving on. Again, here's the noose. So we head back to where Jared is. Guys, I'm just going to note that the viewfinder here, see how it says low battery? Well, what's interesting about that is when we finish filming part one, we change all the batteries on our cameras. So this should not be empty. I've just noticed it's gone down to next to nothing. So I might cut off soon, maybe, I'm not sure. Oh, shit. It was a REM pod just went off. Can you do that again? You've done it once now, so you know how it works. Have you drained the power on my equipment here? Is that you, Deeming? So for those of you at home on familiar, I just had a beep on this. This triggers and beeps when something goes near it. And it just happened. Just when I was talking about the battery on my um, camera going down. Ames, I hope that's you. Yeah, that's me. Are you alright in there? Yeah. What a night. Yeah, this has been really fun actually. I like this one, I like this place. Yeah, yeah. this place is great. Very interesting as well. I know I always say interesting, but I just like a lot of time. We've had I can't some put my really interesting on it. results. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what though, like some cool things did happen. Like in the isolation cell, we had those naughty words and I don't know how you're going to censor them but I probably just won't yeah, mm. <laughs> did you get much when you split up when we split up I feel like I didn't get heaps I went back through the women's uh, cell area and I feel like I really connected there in part one if you guys have watched that and this time it felt very still very quiet didn't really get much over there so I had totally Catbull, different feeling. I had Capo and like Rempod go off in the um, the cell, the deeming cell. Yeah. Which I thought was pretty cool. I also got a really cold sensation. I just got really, really cold all of a sudden. Soon, maybe, I'm not sure. <gasps> I just want to say as well, just for the record, um, we just filmed a behind the scenes uh, bonus ghost tube session for my Patreon YouTube members, which I often do. And is very cool because the word England came through. Uh, this is the men's um, section, allegedly. England. Yes. And I'm just saying, I'm just making note of this because that to me just tells me that my English accent was very good. 
<laughs> we were starting to think the spirits didn't like your accent and then that word came through. So if you want to see that video, links to Patreon and YouTube members are below. Also, I'll be really excited as well to review the SLS where you sort of figure. Yeah. I don't know if we would have got anything. I didn't even scrub it. I'll review it all after, but it was, who knows? It was sort of one of those corner of my eye in the dark thought I saw some sort of a dark blob there, you often, know what I mean? That's often what they're like, yeah. really. So that was cool. So we'll see. Um, I was hoping to yeah. see the ghost kitty on there maybe as well. Yeah, the kitty cat. <laughs> kitty cat. But anyway, I do hope that you guys enjoyed watching. We enjoyed filming it. Uh, if you did like it, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That really helps us out. If you want to do any more reading about this haunted jail or any of the others we've visited, then head to amyscrypt.com. You can also uh, watch the bonus content, particularly the one we filmed tonight, on my Patreon and my YouTube members. Are there links below? Follow us on social media at Amy's Crypt, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Too many. And... Too many to count. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Uh, but thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time.